Welcome back. I hope you're doing all right today. Um, so today we are just moving on, and this uh, is a reading package with some questions at the end. And there's quite a bit of reading, but the one thing I would say, uh, this is lesson and assignment 26. I call it the puppy pack because it's got these puppies on the front of it. So you're going to read this section and answer questions one to nine. That is your assignment. Now, what I will say about this assignment before you get started and submit pictures of your answers to me is that it's a good overview of what genes are, what DNA is, what chromosomes are, alleles, traits, dominant, recessive, genotype, phenotype. It's kind of everything put into one reading that we've kind of been talking about in chunks. So it's a good one to read. Uh, do the questions as best as you can. Some of them are a little weird. I'll point those out. But let's just take a look down here. Um, so we're going to start by just going over what DNA is again, right? So you'll read that. And then you'll talk about what a DNA, uh, what DNA kind of looks like and how it's a genetic code. Um, and now chromosomes are made up of DNAs and you get your CGATs with your phosphates and stuff. They talk about the 23 pairs of chromosomes in humans. This is really interesting. There's a question later about encyclopedias. The answer is right there. If you kind of read and make the analogy later, I think it's question number six or seven. Um, then we go into specific parts, right? If this whole thing is a chromosome, one section of it could be a gene, and that could code for like eye color, hair color, height, different little pieces of a chromosome. You'll read that. You'll look at that. Um, you'll talk about inheritance with things like dominant traits and obviously we'll talk about recessive traits so if there's something you're not quite understanding yet this package it's a lot of dense reading so take your time no rush it might help clarify things of course and then after that we will get to right crossing doing Punnett squares and you will do questions one to question nine. Um, defining, right, which ones contain DNA, that's a little bit tricky. And uh, there is your encyclopedia question, so you go up to question nine. So what you can do is take a picture of your answers, right? Kind of like that, that's what I would do. Um, I hope you didn't just steal that. You should probably read it, especially if you don't understand what's kind of going on with genetics right now. Um, you really need to spend some time reading this package. So your assignment for assignment number 26, the puppy pack I call it, is to take a picture of your answers and submit that to me. Uh, and we'll be doing the next assignment is all practice Punnett squares. I'm talking like six or seven pages of Punnett squares. And I find kids generally find this kind of fun. So take care.